925 and breaking news we've been covering this morning. Within the hour, there was a shooting near uh, Kennedy High School in Richmond. So right now, live on the phone, we have West Contra Costa County School Board member Charles Ramsey to tell us what he knows about this shooting that happened uh, where a student was shot near the school. So what can you tell us, Mr. Ramsey? Yeah, tragic event this morning. Apparently, there was an altercation with students at about 8.15 this morning, about four blocks away from the uh, from the school, and a student, shot, somebody pulled a gun out and shot a student in the leg, and then the student ran into the school and was uh, seen and treated, and there was a lot of chaos going on, and then the uh, shooter ran off, so the shooter's still at large, and um, right now they're just trying to assess the situation and find the, the shooter who's out somewhere on the campus. All right, I'm going to keep you on the phone even though the audio is not great because I want to know a couple of things. Is the school still under a lockdown? And were these all then students that were obviously skipping school or, or before school? Well, they were coming to school and there was some okay. previous history amongst the family. But it's, remember, it's not just the high school. There's an elementary school on the back side of this campus. And so there's a lot of concern about the young students from Coronado Elementary who are also on the campus. So there's a lot of people... There's a lot of police officers out here trying to figure out what happened, but they just did open up the main street and allowing cars now to go back through on Cutting Boulevard. But it's still an investigation in process, and the shooter still is at large. And wait, so the school, is it the high school lockdown and the elementary? Yes, they're both and locked down. Both I mean, there, there, there has to be a full investigation to see what happened. And have you heard, Mr. Ramsey, from any of the witnesses, do they know who the shooters are? Are they associated with the school in any way? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, people who are associated with the school. The, the student who was injured was a, a Latino student, but they don't know the uh, description of the shooter at the time. But there's, there were individuals who heard the shot uh, at the school, saw what the person running away, and so there's just a lot going on with that right now. Okay, and that student who was shot in the leg, has he been taken to the hospital? Yes, they were. Uh, good okay. question. They were taken. Thanks, Randy. Yeah, they were taken to the. Uh, they were taken to uh, Children's Hospital. So, do you, I mean, what should parents think of both the elementary and the high school uh, kids right now? Uh, everything's okay, but it's safe that people are now securing, and we have a trauma personnel company to talk to the kid grief counselor to try to make sure that everybody can uh, be secure and safe. So, but, but don't if, pick up your uh, kids. The, the kids are okay, and they're going to stay in school. They're going to stay in school. We did not send the kids home. It's a question. We did not send the kids home. They're here at school, and everything appears to be okay. Because remember, this happened before school started. And so kids are in class and learning. So we're doing okay. And but the school is still on lockdown. Yes. Still, is still on lockdown. lockdown. Still under lockdown. And lastly, have you heard about the condition of the victim taken to Children's Hospital? Is yeah, doing okay? I talked to the uh, chief of police, and they, it, it's a serious injury, but it's not life-threatening. Okay, very good. You were going to keep you on the phone for a second because we've been looking at the map and like you were describing where the, the elementary school is near the high school. When you say lockdown, and now I'm going to think elementary school because that's a scary thing for an elementary kid and for their parents. When you say lockdown, so everybody just continues on but nobody can get in or out of the school? That's right. That's right. They've secured the gated, they gated the entrance to the school. The principal has notified the teachers to keep their students in the classrooms, don't have them out on the playground, and that once it's all clear by the Richmond Police Department, then they can go ahead and proceed normally. But it's still a somewhat tense situation up here. Because well, the shooter's still on the loose. Well, yeah, absolutely. And for the high school kids, maybe they can handle that concept. But, like, do the elementary kids even really know? Do you tell them what's going on or no? No, I don't. I mean, that, that's for that's for staff. I'm, I'm not the professional there, and I think that we'll, we have an emergency preparedness plan, okay. and so they, they they have instruction on how to do things. All okay. right, Mr. Ramsey, thank you so much, and we'll stay in contact with you if the situation changes there at the school. Of course, uh, let yeah, us you're know. Always free, you're always free to call. Me. Yeah, right, absolutely. Thanks. Okay. Really getting okay. a lot of information there. Uh, much more information on this yeah. shooting that just happened within the hour. So for them to come forward and say so much, they feel that all the students are safe, but they keep it under lockdown. And, and as he said, the shooter is still on the loose, and it sounds like they have an idea what was going on right. here, and that it was somehow related with students who knew each other and didn't like each other. And the good news, of course, the victim, non-life-threatening. They think he's going to be okay being treated now at Children's Hospital Oakland. All right.